What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Sigma Traits. Let's get straight into it. You slept with 164 guys only to gain experience and learn how to satisfy your future husband, but he hates women with a high body count. She's a runner. She's a track star. All that work, <sighs> what did it get me? You gotta love yeah, the bop Yeah, because newsflash, honey, we've been lied to. Men don't want porn stars. They want women that can control themselves. Thank you. Facts. What do you guys value more? A woman that has it- a lot of experience in the sheets or a woman that's more innocent? Let me know. Yeah, as a family that we are not celebrating Father's Day this year. Oh, you're not? I guess. bet we celebrated Mother. Let me guess. Mother's Day, though. It's my wife's first Mother's Day. Oh, no, we did. Was some of her favorite things. So why aren't we celebrating Father's Day? Father's Day, it's always in June, and it's like Last always year around... Last June 18th, which is Matt's birthday, so yes. he had Father's Day and his birthday on the same day. And so I will say, I did kind of combine the holidays. You did combine the two of them. You guys have got to go watch that full video, because I don't know where that lady put her broomstick up her ass, it seems, but... We're not doing Father's Day because it's just an inconvenience. That's like having one child that's born in the beginning of December and then just like being like, you know what, kids? Fuck this kid's birthday. It's too close to Christmas. We're just not celebrating it, you know? Like, but it, but it's worse because it's a dad who's providing for his family that you're literally just saying. Like I say, women are children, man. They only grow old. They never grow up. An inconvenience. I mean, look at her face. She's so sour about it, too. Mm-hmm. You know that she's one of those girls that wishes herself a happy Mother's Day on Father's Day. No oh, facts. Like she's going to want flowers from him or Brutal, dude. A 29 year old woman is going viral on the internet because she doesn't know why she's single. I genuinely just want love in my life so badly. All of my friends have their fiancés and their boyfriends and their husbands. As far as I'm concerned, I've been left behind. And I really just want to find that person that matches my energy and wants to build a life with me. Some of the best advice I have ever heard or received was actually from my boyfriend who was talking to a friend of mine and he says, if you you are desperately searching for a man, that desperation starts to sort of give off a scent to men who may be prospects for a relationship. Try to go through the world with a little bit of confidence, focusing on what you can do to make yourself a better person. And as soon as you do that, I feel, a guy is going to catch that energy and say, I wanna chase after this girl, I want to pursue her. But if you are constantly chasing the life partner and giving off the energy that you have a desperate need towards one, I honestly think it repels men well here's the thing you need to fall in love with yourself before you fall in love with anybody else but also when you chase things it runs you need to attract things this is why if you do fall in love with yourself and you have an energy that says hey i exude confidence i exude self-love other men are going to see that and they're going to want to talk to you if you're a joyful and cheerful person uh, other guys will probably engage with that but i don't think that men will want to chase that she kind of like like almost refuted her own point where she says don't chase it but then other men will chase you it's like no us men we're done chasing we're done chasing. Ladies, if you want us men, you're going to have to chase us. Stupid. Okay? We're, we're done are the days of men chasing women. you got to chase us now. We're the prize. We're the catch. So you better do some running. I finally got the message, you know. He didn't love me. He didn't... He didn't even like me. She looks like she could put an entire grapefruit in her mouth. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like I'm talking the whole bottom part of a pineapple. Like I'm talking, she could take a bite out of a bowling ball. Mouth is bigger than my dreams. Let me stop there. Are you like the one? Oh yeah. So. So stupid. If men were that alpha, then they wouldn't be that bothered by this. Doesn't really help us when it comes to boys growing up. And that is one of my worries, that for teenage boys now, they are so terrified of the consequences of putting a foot out of line. It's hard enough being a young teenager, working out how to do dating and all of that, without the terror that if you touch in the wrong place at the wrong time, you may find that your whole life is destroyed. And that is far too much. Well, I, I, I like that. As a I mother think that of a teenage boy, I don't like really? it. Really? I would say that that attitude actually is part of the problem too. That's, yeah. to me, toxic femininity. Is that healthy? Yes, the I think it point. is, actually. I think it's better to not have a physical relationship than to have one that could ruin a woman's life. But then how do they wow. ever start? Well, don't. If you're not 100% don't. sure, well, don't. What are we going to have? A bunch of new Celebr- teen boys who never had? So we actually it's do have like that. Like... Gen Z is having far less sexual relationships yes, than any... Yes, they are. It's true. And Young people have stopped having sex. Guys, don't bring a go home if you think looks like my cousin got them ears i can hear what you're smelling that possibly she could have a false accusation against you who sent you huh i'm gonna go across the wire (laughs) you're setting me up (laughs) that's good great show 
Hello, it's day big four of being big single. Big. And I broke my one day streak of not crying. Um, and I keep telling myself, I am repeating this mantra. I am Repeat a it, strong, honey. independent woman, and, and I, I do not need man. a partner to feel fulfilled, happy, or safe. And but yet here you are on TikTok crying. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Don't make it make sense. You don't need a man, but you're sitting here crying about it. Stupid. <laughs> oh, I love it. I want you to know that you are also a strong, independent person, and you do not need a partner to be fulfilled. Do strong, independent people cry online? <laughs> Is that what they do? Maybe I didn't get the message, gents. Let me know in the comments. Do strong, independent people cry on the internet? Is that what they do? <laughs> Man, I just, I think I missed the memo. Happy or safe, even if your freaking tear ducts don't know it. <laughs> no. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> Was she an extra on the Lord of the Rings? Shots fired! <laughs> Shots fired! I'm on one today, I'm sorry. Oh no, you've been cheated on. <laughs> For months. <laughs> Here's what I don't get. Now, does it suck that she's been cheated on? Yes. I hate that for her. I don't think men should be going out there and cheating on these women. But here's what I don't understand. What are you getting out of recording yourself crying on social media? What are you getting out of it? Hmm, let's break this down. What are you getting? Attention from simps? Attention from other women? It's an ego play where you're crying online to get sympathy from others. When what you should be doing is doing the work internally to say, hey, what happened in this relationship? What are the controllables? What are the things I did that could have led to this outcome? This is a stoic philosophy. Control what you can control. Crying online and getting sympathy from other people does no good. It feeds your fragile ego, which clearly hasn't worked, which is why you're in the place you're in right now. <laughs> but what you should be doing is doing the work internally and saying, hmm, what did I do in this relationship that contributed to me getting to this point? Because where you are in your life is an amalgamation of all the decisions you've made up until this point. So what decisions did you make to get to this point? What happened? These are the questions that you really need to ask yourself, not cry online. I love him. <laughs> Sometimes the stresses of raising and providing for four children and one income takes over. Good lord, that's a lot of kids. Some, sometimes doing everything you can just isn't enough. Uh, does it ever get easier? I'm sorry, but why did you have four children with this man and then you don't stay with him? I don't understand it. Good lord, more of the sad music. What, what is this? I'm so done with relationships. I'm so over it. I'm just going to stare off into the distance and try to look as mysterious as possible. Like, wh what is this solving? What is this? Uh-oh, kitty cat. Good lord. Okay, more of this. Oh, oh, there's my bop lore. What, what are we doing here? Is this is this a highlight reel of single women? My heart is broken into a scrillion pieces. Uh-oh. There you go. Hit the record. Let's see those tears. Let's see the waterworks, honey. Isn't it a little weird? Bro, I did... Bro, I... I let me tell you guys something. <laughs> I did something today. That I was like, I, it was a social experiment. I was like, I'm going to get on Google and type in woman crying on TikTok. Bro, when I tell you there were about 15 pages full of different women crying on TikTok. You can do crying men on TikTok. You don't see, but maybe one page full. Isn't it weird where you can type in on Google women crying on TikTok and I get flooded with pages. I probably could have went through 100 pages of it. What is this phenomenon? Like, what is this face? Honey, the feminine urge to cry since it's so hard to date in LA because 99% of men don't want a relationship even. Good lord. Me, me crying because I'm single? Good lord. Uh oh. It's, it's, I'm so over. I'm so over being single. It's so boring. Why did you waste the good years of your life being a bop then? I, that's what I don't understand. You know, it's crazy because I um, joke a lot about being single and... No jokes. It's real serious. You know, I um, 
I laugh it off. You seem hysterical right now. Seems like you're really giving it a good chuckle. Get it out. But I'm 46 years old. Damn. She's a runner. She's and a track star. getting ready for surgery and everything. Uh-oh. Surgery for what? It dawned on me. Uh-oh. Hold on. I'm sorry. It's okay. It dawned on me. Okay. That I'm 46 years old. Damn. And I don't have a husband to take care of me. Hmm. Brutal. I don't have a husband to help me get ready. City girls. That's what I wanted, though. I thought. I'm 46 years old and... Damn, her, her saying it again is making it hurt even more. I still need my mama. Wait, is that a, is that a car seat in the back? You still need mommy? Hmm. She's a runner. She's a track star. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have wasted the good young years of your life. I, I, it looks like she got a kid. Oh, to take care of me. Post op. I still need my sister. Which, whether I had a husband or not, they would, they would be there. It sucks. This is the future you single ladies have to look forward to. Being single and 46. Damn. Sucks. I believe it. She looks good for her age, though. Maybe it's a filter, though. Who knows? Brutal. Look at that existential crisis hitting her harder than a ton of bricks. This That's is what it. we call in modern dating the wall. And the wall is unforgiving. It just sucks. Saying and I'm again. fucking tired. Oh, oh, language, honey. Language. And I make jokes about the fucking buffoons that I have been encountering in in dating. <laughs> no but accountability. None. In reality, this is this is my reality. <laughs> oh, we know. We're seeing it, honey. The buffoons. This is my reality. You know what's crazy? Is these women move this over just a smidge here these women don't realize that the common denominator in all of their failed relationships is themselves it's you honey it's you baby girl you're part of the problem these buffoons you must be running a damn circus <laughs> with all these baboons and monkeys and everything else because you're the one that's involved with these relationships just as much as these other men maybe you don't know how to vet correctly maybe you're a bop. Maybe you're a runner. Maybe you're a track star. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> well, it just seems like now you're a single mom. You're a single mom. So I don't know. I just, the lack of accountability. If a guy was this age, he would be able to say, hey, you know what? It's because of X, Y, Z of things that I've done. This is why I'm single. But with women, accountability is like kryptonite. This is my reality. And this, those stories are the shit that's available because all the good men have gotten married in their 20s and 30s because they're good men <laughs> you had your chance and you blew it why don't you say that i'm not blaming it all on men because women are fucking shit they fucking bat shit crazy too so but well, at least she's owning up to that but at the same time you have to take responsibility for everything that's happened in your life this is why i say stop playing the victim it's your fault Tired of being the strong, independent, resilient one all the time. It's fucking exhausting. It is so fucking exhausting and draining to act like everything is okay all the time when you are absolutely fucking breaking inside. So sick of being told that I should be happy single. I don't want to be. I want to be in love. I want to be sickening to everyone is that around. A booker hanging from her nose. Shots fired! Shots fired! Or is that is that the bull nose ring? First of all, take that out. Around us, I want to adore them, and I want them to adore me. I want to find my person. I want to love them, and I want them to love me. I have so much of myself to pour into someone, and right now I feel empty. Because you don't qualify. It shouldn't be this hard to find love. But all I find myself doing is scrolling through stupid dating apps, finding stupid men who just want sex. And I'm so sick of it. Women are marketers, men are salesmen. If that's all men want out of you, then newsflash, that's what you're selling, dude. Come on. Stupid. Why is it so hard to find love? Good lord. I am a woman 
and I want equality. Go, feminist, go! Us women want to make as much as men? Exactly! We can do anything a man can do. You go, girl! I think it's about time we work longer hours. Female empowerment. We want to work more dangerous jobs. But wait a minute. We want to start providing for our own children. But you don't mean financially, right? It's time that we protect and provide. I can't lie, you're losing me. A woman can do anything a man can do, so we want recognition that a man can be victimized too. Hey, clearly you're not a feminist, you're a misogynist. What kind of equality is this? I'm a victim! <laughs> Roma's army, she's great, I like her. Rules, no social media unless business use. I can dig that. Always have your location on. We always use his money, make his mind, haven't... He can't text anyone but me. He's going out. He can only wear outfits I approve of. He can only drink Fiji water. What rules do you have? Good Lord, leave her. Goodness gracious. Lie, these kind of all sound like... This, that sounds like a miserable marriage, and those all sound like rules that you made up to benefit you. Yeah. What rules uh, do you have, honey? Just me? It's raining outside. Isn't that lovely? Thank you. I'll be damned, your ship. My stepdad was my top subscriber on my naughty website. Now I know what you're all thinking. Oh, stepdad fan. She's a runner. She's a track star. Blah, 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 blah. This man had been in my life since I was 11 years old and spent $2,000 on custom content every single video that I sent out. When I caught him, he denied it to all of his friends and obviously my mum got rid of him straight away. But yeah, if you want to talk about family trauma, my eyes twitching. My stepdad watched me have SEX with my partner for two months. I remember back in my day when a good old woman wouldn't just spread her cheeks for a couple dollars. I remember when a good woman was a good woman, and I also remember when not every woman had a link in her bio where she would just be selling her body for $4.99 online. And I also remember a good old time when women were virgins. And they weren't ran through like a set of stairs or the Boston Marathon. Man, times really have changed, ain't they? It's crazy now, man. Here is the custom content that my stepdad was requesting on my naughty site. Like I said in a previous video, we messaged every. I like how she calls it naughty site. It's your OF, dude. Stupid. Day on the website, and he would make requests almost every single day. Every day? This gives a whole new meaning to every. This man was beating his stuff like it owed him money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Hey, I'm suffering. One of them was to see the underwear that I was wearing every day. At the time, I was working still, so I was out of the house five days a week, and he would ask for pictures in the bathroom or the change rooms of wherever I was. He also requested that when I was filming solo content at home that I would not do it in the bathroom or in the shower. He always wanted it to be on my bed or on the floor of my bedroom. Which, mind you, he had access to this room every single day. That is. Oh. Imagine thinking that it was a bad thing, by the way, for a man to say that it's their job to take care of women. Remember when that was noble? Mm hmm. You remember? I don't remember. When, when the Titanic was sinking, I don't remember all the women complaining that they were on the boats first with mm -hmm. children. No, no. Perhaps. Were they like, no, no, I'm staying, staying here. here. Man, you take the boats. <laughs> yeah. I've got this. No, because that would be weird. Mm -hmm. That would be make no sense, right? And now we're warped, right? So this now now we've been programmed as women to think that when a man says it's my job to take care of a woman, you're supposed to be offended by that. Instead of say saying to yourself, well, that's a, a fundamentally decent man that thinks that's his job and is going to work his butt off to make that happen. Warped society, don't play the game. Man, it's crazy. I mean, it's so true though. Men are demonized for being men. I think I think we're at the dawn of time where we we may be at a pivot in society, gents. Let me know what you think. I think women have demonized men for being masculine for so long. I think now we have we have awo we have awoken. We're not woke, but we have awakened. Maybe where toxic femininity is now the thing that we're seeing. These toxic feminists, these toxic feminine women. I think we're seeing a turning point after the Amber Heard. I mean Amber Heard situation. <laughs> her pooping in the bed. I mean with her giving Johnny Depp some hit. I mean. You, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. We're seeing more of these devious women. Even with Jonathan Majors, this man did nothing and lost his entire Marvel contract off of an accusation. Even on camera, this man is running away from this woman. I don't know if you guys remember the Jonathan Majors thing. He did absolutely nothing. But a woman's word can ruin a man's entire career. It's absolutely brutal. As you can see, we don't have Loki here today. He's out there spending time with his mom. 
they're on a walk. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, become a member so you can see all the videos that I make profit, uh, private. So after about two months, I make all the previous videos private. So that way you can go back and watch the old content and see what's going on. You can see the history of the channel and see where we've grown. Um, go cop the ebook, the four, uh, the, goodness gracious, can't even talk. The four pillars of personality that makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.